Hi guys. How is everybody? I haven't took y'all on a ride with me in a while, so me and Layla's out and about and we today is um, half price at our thrift store. So that's where we're headed. That and the grocery store. You know, oh, I forgot to say, hi, I'm Diane from Mimi's Life. I forgot to say that. But, um, yeah, it's the day after Easter. I hope everybody had a great Easter. We had a wonderful Easter. I made a big dinner. Um, I, I got a big ham. Kroger had them on sale for 97 cents a pound. So I got a huge spiral honey ham for ten dollars that was great and so uh, we made some homemade au gratin potatoes and I made a um, homemade carrot cake with homemade cream cheese icing came out so good we had macaroni and cheese and corn and baked beans with bacon yeah and some Hawaiian rolls it was delicious and Lisa, guess what? I am on the, um, I finally put up, I put up, me and Layla, my, um, little, what do you call it? Phone. Little phone holder deal in my car that goes on the rear view mirror, the one that you sent me. It's fabulous. It works great. I love it. Thank you again. And um, I've got two addresses for my giveaways. Um, two people replied, and I'm waiting for one more. I'm waiting for Crystal, and I'm sorry we're shaking around. I'm on a bad road. I'm waiting on Crystal. Crystal, I know that you watch me all the time, so I'm waiting on you, girl, for you to give me your address so I can get the boxes sent off. And, um, so I'm gonna wait at least until the weekend on you because I know that you'll be watching. So, and I got a package going out to my good friend, um, Lisa. So, I'm just waiting on Crystal so I can send all my packages at one time. So I don't have to go several different times. So, hang in there. Hang in there, girls. It's coming. So yeah, we had a great Easter. Me and Abby and Layla, we colored eggs. And um, it was the first time that Abby ever colored eggs. So me and her, she got her little stool and sat up there on the, um, at the counter in the kitchen. And we colored eggs. So then, uh, they went out and hit them, my son and Layla. They went out and hit them in the backyard. So, we hid eggs. How many times? Like six. Yeah, like six times. So, she'd find them, put them in her basket, and then we'd hide them again. But now, I have about six boiled eggs missing. I have no idea where they're at. And um, I just hope they're not lost in the house. Because that would be a stinky mess. Our backyard is supposed to be Yeah, I think. Yeah, my backyard needs to be mowed. So, maybe my husband might mow this weekend. and Somewhere. Yeah, run over, run over the eggs. So, and the other grandma bought um, the baby a sin box for uh, Easter. And so we got a sandbox on the back porch now. There's sand everywhere. So, um, Abby, she calls it Ooster Day. She can't say Easter. And she calls it Ooster. So, yesterday, whenever I went to wake her up, I had her basket and all the peeps and everything, the one that lit, lights up, I had it all set on the fireplace with her little peeps basket full of everything. Y'all know what all I got her. It it overflowed. So I, I went in there and told her, I said, it's Ooster Day, it's time. The bunny came last night. She goes, what, I missed the bunny? <laughs> so she had a really good time Easter. 
So I, this is supposed to be a big secret, a big secret. So y'all don't tell anybody, but we're going on vacation. Roll out my window. We're going on vacation. We are so excited, aren't we, Layla? <laughs> Layla are real excited. Sadie, she's not so much. She's she's a homebody and and um, she really likes to stick close to the house. But I'm so excited about going. And I know kind of where we're going, but I don't know what part that we're going to. So I'll tell you more about it when I find out. But we're going in June. And um, for a whole week, so I will definitely do definitely do some vlogging while we're there <coughs> to let y'all see what I'm seeing. So um, I want to call Nona. Um, you know, uh, Nona. Nona's here and Grumpy Grandpa. So. I need to give her a call and ask her some questions because she lives in Florida. So, she might, we might be going where she's at. If she is out, me and her could go have a cup of coffee or a Coke or something. Wouldn't that be great? So, yeah, we're super excited. So, we've been kind of going to the secondhand store and picking up this and that. But, I've got a lot of stuff in my Timu basket to buy because we I've got to buy the dreaded bathing suit guys you know the best thing about me whenever I was younger was my legs I that was the best my best asset was my legs now they're horrible of course I have a big huge scar on my knee because I had my knee replaced which the scar is not too bad is it Layla? No. But you know my legs are just wrinkly and ugly and veins and just I have old lady legs now so I'm not too crazy about wearing a bathing suit. Casey's legs scare me. Uh, he's got white chicken legs. He's real dark up top, my husband, but his legs look like they're white as a ghost. So, and Tara don't have a bathing suit. I need to get her a couple of bathing suits. And you have two bathing suits. And Tara won't want to wear one. She'll like, she'll be weird about it. She said she wanted one. If she's weird about it, she can put a t-shirt over it. You know? Yeah. So I would show y'all my grocery store haul, but at the first of the month we go and we buy a lot of groceries, like three or four hundred dollars worth, and it's getting everything that I think that we can do through supper for the whole, you know, month or whatever. I should do like, um. Jessica does. She she buys once a week. I love it. I love to watch whenever she does this. She buys once a week. She goes to the store and she buys um, dinner for a family of five. I think Jessica has five. Jessica Marie. Um, I think she has five, right? Yeah, she has her two sons and her daughter and her husband and her, so there's five of them. And she goes to the store and she buys a meal for um, five days. And then, you know, they just eat out or whatever on the weekend, she said. And that's the same thing we do. We usually eat out on the weekends. So, I should do that. Right. Mm -hmm. But there's seven of us. So, I could do a meal for seven um, seven days. Does she make one meal? Yeah, she makes one meal. She buys like enough stuff to... I hope this car behind me don't get mad, but I'm going to wait on this lady to come out. She's getting in her car. Which one? This one here in that like orangey color car. 
but um, yeah, that's a smart thing to do what she does. I love watching it whenever she plans her dinners. She's so smart about it. So, but um, I usually go at the first and buy everything that we, I think we might need, like a lot of stuff to put in my deep freeze, like Hot Pockets and stuff like that, that the kids can just grab and, and pop in the air fryer or whatever, or the microwave. I got lucky, I got a front row parking place. Okay guys, we're here at the thrift store. We're going in and I will see y'all in a little bit. Okay guys, we're out of the thrift store. We've been in there for two hours, right? Something like that, two hours. But we found a bunch of good stuff, but a lot of it was not even on sale. So, I'll show y'all what I got, and then maybe later on after I go home and wash everything, I'll try it on for you guys. I found a pair of, excuse me, I found a pair of shorts that just have like the distress look on them. And they were $4.99. Got Abby some shorts, little shorts. They were on sale. Their original is cheap $49, so I got them, what, for $1.25? Got her those. And got her these. They wasn't on sale, but they were $2.99. And these were a dollar twenty-five because they were on sale. Just fit some really cute, just plain, you know, little t-shirts with it. Layla got this, and it was on sale for two dollars. It's really cute, and she probably won't try it on for y'all, but it's super cute. It'd be really cute with a pair of just uh, plain blue jean shorts. And she got this top was on sale for two dollars. It looks really low cut, but it is not. It's not. Did y'all hear what she said? She said it looks really low cut, but it's not. I tried it on in the store. So it goes like that, but it crisscrosses, and then it's got a little tie deal on the side. It looked really cute on her. So she fixed it somehow where it not showing. And here is another shirt she picked out. It was $2.50. That looks like that. It's kind of short at the bottom. And then it's got the long sleeves like see-through. It's cute. And she found a pair of shorts for $6.99. They wasn't on sale. I found a blue and white strap, just t-shirt top to wear with my white jeans. I thought that would look cute because I remember I got the navy shoes from um, Timu. It would look real cute with the white blue jeans with that. And then I just got me a, um, this was $1.50. $1.50. It's just a black, really thin t-shirt. That. And then I got this really cute shirt. It was $3.99. It wasn't on sale. But I thought it was so cute. That would be adorable with either white shorts or white jeans or uh, blue jeans too. So this is really cute. So I'll get all this stuff washed up and then I will let y'all see what it looks like on me. Here's another shirt that Layla picked out. It wasn't on sale, but it was $3.99. This is so soft. So it's a really cute shirt. It's gonna look cute on her. She should try on her stuff and show y'all. Where's the shoes at? And she got some shoes. She gets shoes everywhere we go. Everywhere we go, the kid gets shoes. <laughs> little shoes, like more than I want to see. She got these little white shoes. She told me they were grandma shoes. Yeah, I told her they were grandma shoes. And, dang, if I can get it. And she bought these, which these are really cute. See, they're all sparkly. 
super cute. And we paid what for these? Uh, four ninety nine, right? No, they were on sale. No, they were four. Yeah, they were four ninety nine. They wasn't on sale. So they're still five dollars. Those are super cute. So that's what we got at the second hand store. Or the third store, whatever you want to call it. And I bought a bunch of coat hangers. I love the coat hangers that that um, been buying at Timu, you know, the ones that your clothes won't fall off the hanger. I love those. It's just I just ordered a pack because I got them for a penny. And I am gonna replace all of my plastic hangers with those slow just slowly. I'm gonna try. I've gotta clean my hair. Yeah, I really like those coat hangers a whole, whole lot. So, we're, I want to replace them. But I want to wait until they go on sale and they get really cheap. So, I was really low on coat hangers. I don't have any. So, I went ahead and bought some in there because they sell them for $10 for a dollar. So, anyway, that's what we got at the thrift store. And now we're going to run across the street to McDonald's to get her a hamburger or something because she's starving and we're going to the grocery store and don't ever take this kid in the grocery store whenever she's hungry because she'll put everything in the world in the basket so I mean, yeah my son's worse it doesn't matter if he ate before he goes to the grocery store he's still bad but her if she's hungry she will put everything in the basket so I'm feeding her before we go. So I'll never take her to the store hungry again, yeah, to the grocery store. It just, it like when you're hungry, everything's hungry. Yeah, it does. All right. And last time we got a bunch of fish related stuff. Is that yeah. Funny? Yeah, she did. I got crab, imitation crab, and then I got like a bunch of crab dips. Here. Oh. Fish. Sorry guys, hold on. Okay, sorry guys, she was talking to y'all. Well, I went to the store hungry one time and we got a bunch of like snacks for like, I don't know, fish, like fish related stuff. We had gotten like two, three crab dips, another fish dip, imitation crab, and a bunch of like other fish related stuff and I was just hungry. Yeah, that's when I took her in the grocery store and she was hungry. And guess what she was hungry for, guys? Seafood. <laughs> so everything that she seen, she put in the basket. I mean, who, who wouldn't be hungry for seafood? Yeah. Seafood is great, but she put a bunch of stuff in there. And I don't, I think she actually put some stuff in there that she didn't like. Some of the crab did, right? Yeah, I didn't like one of the crab did.
she said, I don't know, they might like that. People yelling, us yelling at each other, the guy up here. It's because nobody really hears. People can't hear this. Yeah. So, we'll be right back. Okay, we got our McDonald's. Now we're back on the road. Arizona out there? Why do you ask? Because I was all, I'm always thinking like which one's hotter, Arizona or Texas? I don't know. Which one's hotter guys, Arizona or Texas? We're pretty hot. And I know Arizona's a lot of desert, so they might be hotter. But we whenever one time when I was uh really young no this is whenever we went to California to visit my brother my brother lived out there for about three years and uh, it was when my oldest son he was just a baby he was like two years old and my mom it was me my mom and the baby and my oldest son which was the baby at the time and we flew out there and whenever we did, we had a layover in Albuquerque. Oh my goodness. You could see the heat rising off the ground there. It was so incredibly hot at that place in Albuquerque. So, yes, it was very, very hot. We are gonna drive, um, we're gonna we're we're gonna rent um, a much bigger vehicle because we have to because there's seven of us. So we're gonna rent like um, kind of like a passenger van or something like that and um, drive to Florida. Are we gonna take stops? Yeah, we'll be stopping, but I think. Florida is about where we're going, I think it's nine hours maybe, nine hours away from here. 
whenever I was younger, all of my family lived in Mississippi. You know, my, my mom and my dad's brothers and sisters and stuff, my aunts and my uncles. They all lived in Mississippi, so we went there every year for a family reunion. And we always drove straight through, and that was a 10-hour drive. So, and it, it really wasn't that bad. I mean, we'd get in the car, and, you know, we would all start talking, and before you knew it, we were there. I have a question. What places will we go through to get to Florida? I'm not sure. You'd have to ask Casey that. Because if so, we could, we could, like, take stops to go see some stuff. Well, yeah, we're going to be stopping, and if it's too, too much on us, we'll stop and spend the night, but I don't think it will be. When we drove, when I moved, we moved to California because my husband got a job offer out there. My two brothers were already living there, so we moved to California for a year to Torrance, California. It was so beautiful there, but I was homesick for Texas. I don't know why. And, um... When we decided to come home, it was like a convoy. I'm not kidding. We, my, my sister and her husband and, and her children, she had a car, they had a boat and a truck, so all those vehicles would be driving back. I had a Mustang, so we had to drive that back. We had two huge U-Hauls, that we were driving it was crazy and everybody was driving a car you know so yeah it that was a crazy drive home and it took us like two days two and a half days something like that to come home because we had to stop and sleep so that was a really super long drive something I never want to do again but it was an adventure, that's for sure. It, it was pretty... It, it was beautiful in California where we lived. Beautiful, because we, we didn't even have to have an air conditioner because we lived right by the Pacific um, Ocean right there. Like, it was 10 minutes from our house. It was so incredibly beautiful. And... Um, but things are a lot more expensive there. And... I was working, my husband was working, the boy, my boys' father at the time, he was working. We, we worked so much, we didn't really ha enjoy anything, but all of my family lived there at one time. We all moved there, it was crazy. Every one of my mom's children moved to California, except for my oldest sister. She's the only one that didn't move. She stayed here. And um, me and my two other sisters all worked in the same grocery store, which was really cool. I think I've told that story before. Everybody would come up and they would be like, you know, over in the the juice bar, the pie, the pie place. There's a girl over there that talks just like you. And I, I was like, yeah, I know. That's my sister. So that was pretty cool uh, working with both of them. But through my years of, of working, um, my last job that I had before I quit working, I worked for a dental lab for 21 years. But before that, whenever I would work, I always worked in the bakery. So I had a, I have a lot of experience with like decorating cakes and um, all that stuff. With you know working at the bakery for so many years, and I worked in the deli. So that's that's what I did a lot. And whatever I did, my oldest sister was a cake decorator. So I worked with her several times, and um, my other sister um, also. They worked, we used to have Safeway here. I know in California they still have Safeway, but we had Safeway here in Texas. And all three of my sisters and my mother all worked for Safeway. And I worked for them too when I was a lot younger before I had my kids because they, they were the best paying grocery store that there were, was at that time. And they were union and um, 
it was just a really good place to work for. I guess that's why they closed down or they went out of business or whatever because they were paying so much money to everybody. But my, uh, all three of my sisters ended up retiring from there and because they worked there for so many years. So they got like a retirement out of it whenever Safeway closed down. So, and my mom, when she worked at Safeway, she had slipped and she broke her back. And, um, so she got like a settlement for that, a big one. And she never did go back to work after that. She retired. So, that's kind of my, what I did all through my years of working. But, um, we're almost at Kroger. Do you want any fries? Yeah. Well, I really hope this Kroger has stocked up. There's a really nice Kroger by over there by where I do get my eyelashes done. It's across the street. It's like a big, what is it, like a big Albertsons or something, isn't it, mm -hmm. Layla? Or, yeah, Albert, like a Tom Thumb more like, because Tom Thumb's even more fishy or something. She doesn't like grocery shopping, so she doesn't get excited whenever, like, I talk about Costco or Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. It would be my absolute dream to go grocery shopping in Costco or Trader Joe's. I don't even know where Trader Joe's is. I thought Trader Joe's was a corrupt, was a food a, no, it's a, a restaurant. It's a really big grocery store. It's like a Costco and Albertsons and a Kroger combined. Where is that at? I don't even know where that's at. I, I, I don't know. I, all I know is there's one somewhere in Texas. Where did you see that at? I seen it like, okay, so the one I seen was in California. And it, because I watched these two people who like go to grocery stores and they pick up a bunch of crazy foods and then they try them. Hmm. Yeah, and they, they went to Costco, and they said Costco's food is actually pretty good. Costco but is just like overrated. Sam's. That's what a Costco's is. Yeah, I know. They said they're, and then they said that the Sam's food is really good. Like, the hot dogs are really good. Really, really well, good. we know it's what Sam's. We have a Sam's card. We go in Sam's. Matter of fact, I need to go in Sam's because I need to buy Abby some diapers. diapers. The potty training is not going well, guys. <laughs> It's not going well. I want to go in there, that, that breakfast place. Club 55. 50, 51. There used to be a tanning place right here. Best Nails, Metro. Wonder, there it is right there, that Palm Beach Beauty and Tan. I want to get a tan before we go on vacation so I don't look like a stark white old lady. Are people in Florida white too? I don't know. They're probably like, probably like us. They live out there, so they're not that excited about stuff that's like the beach and all that. They're like, yeah, been there, done that. There's a lot of people at the grocery store. My son, he texts me this big old long grocery list that he wants me to pick up. I don't even know what it is. Really? Yes. What is she doing? I think she's waiting for you to move. No, she's just... Don't know how to drop. All right, guys, what's going on? Guys, the, the best food in the world is in Texas. What is, what is he doing? While she's confused about that, I'll talk to you. The best food ever made is in Texas. There's places like Italy and like Greece where they have really good food too. But Texas is the home of fatty foods. Fatty, delicious people foods. Yes, it is. It is the home of fat foods. So if you come here, make sure, like, if you come here and you're a really skinny person, you might gain a little bit of weight. They're probably thinking that about their town, too. Oh, she got my parking place. That little... 
there's one right here too. Like there's a strip. Where? Right here. But even like, I've had people, I've watched people like YouTubers who have moved to Texas and they always, the people always think that Texas is this desert town with like cowboy stick up gunfights. <laughs> like seriously, they made a whole video talking about how they thought Texas was where cowboys were still at. Huh? And people still rode horses. They used to ask me that all the time whenever I lived in California. Do y'all ride horses? I'm like... Are there gunfights? Yeah. People do. Now, whenever you get down in the, where the, all the tourists is and stuff, like down in um, Fort Worth, in the Cowtown part where they used to haul cattle through. Now, down there, the police officers do ride horses. And they have like a brick like kind of road. Yeah, it's cobblestone roads down there. And that's that's pretty cool to see. But you know, I was born and raised here and I seen it all the time so it's not a big deal to me. But people that could you go down there and you see all these people walking around with the cameras around their necks and stuff and I'm thinking, oh <laughs> but it's people that ha doesn't N you know has never seen anything like that there are a lot of places like in texas that do give off you know how in like old western movies it's like that little small town that's really close yeah to that's what it looks like down in cowtown and it looks like there's places old... like all all i think all throughout texas that look like that there's one if you're heading from um haltom and like dallas to galveston you stumble across a lot of those little towns. Yeah, yeah, a lot of little old towns, country towns. But anyway, guys, we're at Kroger's, so we're going in. I'll be dead tired by the time I get this done. So, and Crystal, I'm shouting out to you again. Um, email me your address, girl. So I will be back. Say bye, Layla. <laughs> Okay, guys, we are out of the grocery store. We were there for two and a half hours. So, I'm glad it only seems like a minute for y'all. And it is so windy outside, my hair is blown everywhere. Well, today is the first day that um, Layla has ever pumped gas. Hold so, on. wait, don't move yet. She opened the big jar of pickles and get, she's getting one out. Hold up, that's kind of, this one's ugly. I want a different one. Uh, just take it. You already put your fingers on it. Oh my goodness. Show them your big pickle. It's little, but I have a That ain't little. That's it's a big little. one. We got the best made dill pickles. Best pickles in the century of pickles. <laughs> you know what I like them with? They're good with popcorn. I like to eat popcorn and pickles. They're good with hot sauce and cheese wrapped around them. Although right now I can't eat popcorn. I'm gonna tell them my favorite snack. Okay. You've never seen me eat this snack, but like, it's cause like. Here, let me <laughs> let me show her. She's talking. So, basically, you're gonna take a tiny little dill pickle, right? You're gonna wrap some Swiss around it or any type of cheese and then you're gonna put Valentina or any type of hot sauce on it and then tahine if you have tahine. You don't have to add the tahine but yeah. Or another snack is you hollow out the inside of your pickle, a big pickle like this, and you put Swiss and then hot sauce in it and then you eat it. Uh, that doesn't sound good to me. How about y'all? There's another snack where you take out a jalapeno and you hollow it out and then you put cottage cheese in it, and then you put Takis in it, and then you put hot sauce on it. Ugh. It got really popular on TikTok. I don't like it though. I think it's just, I think it's just kids experimenting with stuff. Mm-mm. Uh, a 20 year, one year old started it. Oh, that's a kid to me. 21 years old, that's a kid to me. When I'm 58, I'll be 59 in June. Boy, I am hitting the 60 mark. It is right around the corner. 
Uh, how old are you turning into? Uh, 59. Next year I'll be 60. Oh my goodness. 60. That's hard to say. That is hard to say. When I'm 30, how old will you be? You'll be on the cusp of 70? No, yeah. No, on the cusp of um, 60. When you're how old? 30? Mm -hmm. I'll be 70. Won't I? Wow. Yeah, I'll be 70. It's 10 years from now. A little more than 10. Yes, I'll be 70. I'll be 18 next year. Yeah, I should be 18 next year. January. I had to go get gas because, woo, me and Layla, we pulled up there at Kroger and my gas light came on. I forgot about getting gas until that ding, ding deal dinged me. And then we had to get gas, but whenever you shop at Kroger, I don't know if you have a Kroger or not, but when you shop at Kroger, they give you gas points. So gas here is, um, how much was it? It's 319 or something like that. Mm -hmm regular the only thing about this phone deal is it shakes and I hope that it's not making y'all sick I don't know how to stabilize it anymore it shakes that's the only thing I don't like about it but um, yeah gas is, is uh, 3 319 or something like that well I got 60 cents off a gallon so I only had to pay 263 I think yeah that's per gallon? Yeah, per gallon. Wow. So, yeah. $40 filled my car all the way up. I have a... Um, I have a Chevy Traverse. That's what I have. It's got three rows of seats. I have to have those three rows of seats for all my grandkids. Let me put this up a little bit. Mainly the reason we have a big car is because when we were younger, we used to, we used to be the car puller. Like, I remember you had to pick up some people before we went to church a few times. Yeah. Because, like, they didn't want to drive or something. Or they couldn't, so we would pick up other people, and then we'd have a full car. Who was that we picked up for church? I have no idea. They, I, all I know is they had a few kids. They had, like, three. I don't remember. It, it was when you had, I think, your red car. or We had three rows of seats, so that's all I know. And I was somehow pushed all the way in the back with Tara or something. I don't remember who we picked up to go to church. We've done it twice or three times. I can't remember. That's a sign of old age too. You can't remember stuff. I do have a Timu haul um, that I have. I've got several little orders that's trickled in and I got quite a bit of stuff I need to show y'all. So of jewelry. Yeah, I do have a lot of jewelry. Oh my god, I have school tomorrow. Yes, you got school tomorrow. They were out of school today. They had a, like a snow day. They have so many snow days. And if they don't use them up, then they get to use them through the, through the year. So, we don't, I don't even know why they have snow days. I mean, yeah, we have had snow and had some bad weather where the kids didn't go to school. You know, in Japan, but that don't happen very often here. In Japan, they don't have bad weather days. They don't have weekends either. Really? They get one month I'm of summer. In Japan, they ha they get one month of summer. No, no weekends are allowed. And they're at school. Like, they wake up the butt crack at dawn. I'm talking like five. Five. It, that's at elementary included. Oh, really? Yep. And then they stay until like four. Like, they don't have weekends. They don't get any days off. That would stink, wouldn't it? And they're in they're in one class. Uh -oh, they're in, I'm in the wrong lane as usual. The one school that I looked into because I watched somebody who who teaches in Japan. She's an American who teaches in Japan. Yeah. And she like the way she, her school works is she teaches one class throughout one day. Like there's no such thing as the kids get up and go to another class like you're in geometry and then you go to science no you don't do that the teachers move around so her classroom isn't her classroom 
She'll be in one, her class for one class period, and then she'll go to another class and teach a different class. Oh, that's probably just easier. Mm -hmm. And the lunches there are so beautiful. Beautiful? Yes, like, okay, American school lunch. Are you still talking about over there? Yeah. Erin's going to Japan. American school Lucky lunch. Lucky her. Is not Can good. imagine going to Japan? Gosh, that would be so amazing. The food there. I can't wait until she goes because she said she's going to vlog it, so we'll get to see some stuff. I don't know if she'll watch this, but Erin, if you go there, they have vending machines with cold beverages and warm beverages. So, like, if you're thirsty and it's hot, you can get a cold beverage or a warm beverage. She said there's vending machines everywhere, all over the place. She watches all this YouTube stuff about Japan and China and all that. So she's full of information. She's always telling me all kinds of stuff. Yeah, like, they even have, like, vending machines of, like, this one's really disgusting, but it's, like, vending machines of dried cockroaches that you can eat. Oh, Ooh. I don't remember what the name of this lady is, but my son was telling me about her. And she's on YouTube, Joe Rogan. He watches Joe Rogan all the time. He's pretty vulgar. He's he's too vulgar for me to watch. And, and um, I'm not going to get religious or anything like that, but he's a non-believer, so he really... Um, doesn't pokes jokes at that and I don't think that kind of stuff is funny at all so it's really hard for me to watch him because her name is Yumi he um like a Yumi yeah he he pokes jokes at Christianity and I don't like it but um my son watches him all the time even though my son's a Christian too but he just says mama look over that but it's hard for me to so um anyway he interviewed this girl and I watched some of her last night because my son been wanting me to watch her and it tells her story about how she got over here and she was she lived in North um, Korea. Korea North Korea where it's really bad and oh my goodness she went through so much stuff it is so hard to hear her story I mean so sad so I, sad I haven't watched a full video but I've seen clips and the way that it's like it, they, they're in another century like it's like if you were here in Texas or you where you live you have modern day you have cars you have cell phones you have big flat screen TVs you have talking fridges they are back in the 90s they're all the way back like before no not 90s they don't have running water they don't have um, they basically live in like the dark ages I guess they don't they don't, they have, don't cars have electricity either. no cars because they don't have a TV she said we never had a TV because we don't have electricity it's sad so sad and what is her name Yumi I don't know her last name Yumi yeah it's a sad sad story so yeah we're so blessed and fortunate to be and what's you know. even worse is that the poverty and the hunger is so terrible over there. Sorry, it's, guy. It, I think it's equal to Africa. Like, Africa's hunger hunger is, like, crazy. I have some people from Africa that watch me. Like, there's some parts of, like, Africa that I, are so there's bad. There's some parts that are beautiful over there, too, in Africa. But there's also some, like, parts where people don't get enough food. Well, that's everywhere, honey. That's everywhere. That's here in America. I mean, there's there's people starving all over the world everywhere you go. That's just the only place like that really can't receive help is like North Korea. Like people can go everywhere else, but you can't. You're like legally with an air, with a passport, you cannot enter North Korea, and you can't like. There's no Wi-Fi, so you wouldn't be able to contact anybody. And <clears throat> you know. It's, it's ironic, but their leader, their dictator is fat. They're, his whole family, fat. They do not, they are not, you know, they don't, they don't experience poverty. Food. Yeah. The they leaders. don't experience hunger. Well, we'll stop talking about this because this is all political stuff. And I don't never talk about this kind of stuff because I don't know enough about it. So, 
yeah, we'll stop talking about that. On the other hand, I do have some Timu stuff, and I am turning on my street. I do have some Timu stuff that I need to show y'all and get my, um, my order out and Wait, make my video it? for it. Huh? Is it going to be in this video? No. Uh-uh. No, I just took y'all along with me today because I haven't taken y'all along with me in a while. And I would appreciate it if y'all would give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And um, anything you want to comment, I love to read them. Even if it's little hate comments. Well, I don't like hate comments. She said even if it's hate comments. Some I people are really mean. I don't, I don't let people on internet like hurt my feelings. Well, I don't let them hurt my feelings either. I just ignore them and delete, delete, delete. So. Plus, comments are so, so 2000s. 2000s. Comments are so 2000s, she said. Hate comments are so 2000s. Nice comments are still in. Yeah, I agree. So, I'm at home, guys, and I'm going in to get my son and um, unpack all these groceries. $600 worth of groceries we bought today. I'm going to show them. Do you know every time she wants to show you the big pickle jar? So you know you can get the right ones. Yeah. Because if they don't get the right ones. Every time I go buy groceries, like at the first of the month, when I go buy groceries for my big family of seven, I have to tell the story of me having the kids. Because... People get curious and want to know why we have so many groceries. Yeah, people get curious and want to know why. So the van standing behind me, he couldn't get over how much groceries. And he was like, oh my God, you spent $600. And actually, I spent 800 and something. But I gave my Kroger card and it brought it down to 600 So I usually, I usually end up telling the story of how I got the kids and why I got the kids and all that good stuff. Someday I'll tell y'all. I told y'all that I was going to tell y'all the story. And, and I will someday. So, but anyway, we're at home. And I love and I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And if you watched my whole video, thank you. And I'll be seeing you probably tomorrow because I have a haul to do. And that's all. So, I love and appreciate you. And I will talk to you soon. Say bye, Layla. Bye. <laughs>